Kyle Rittenhouse went to Kenosha in August for two reasons. One was to protect property, and the other one was to deliver medical aid to injured protesters. That's what he claimed on video, and he's actually shown on video doing both of those things. But one of the complaints that came out early on was that the Castle Doctrine doesn't allow you to protect somebody else's property. It's designed for you to protect your own. That's true. So did Kyle do something wrong by shooting Jojo Rosenbaum when he was not protecting his own property but protecting somebody else's? Hello out there. I'm trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Okay, so what we have here is a still of a video that represents the very initial stage of what happened between Kyle and Jojo Rosenbaum. Now, there are two other people here. One is Joshua Zabinski, and the one on the far left is his wife. This is the moment where Joseph Rosenbaum decides to chase Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle is just right now beginning to run, and you can see Joseph Rosenbaum starting to chase after him. Now, I have a question for you. Does it look like he's defending property? He's nowhere near the property he was defending. He had decided to uh, travel with Ryan Balch and another patriot, if you want to call him that, to go look for injured people. They abandoned the property that they were initially protecting because the police had already secured that area. So he walks away from the property and got separated from Ryan Balch and that other person. We are not sure why. It looks like for a while there, Kyle was looking for Ryan to try to find him and gave up and started walking down this street. And he encountered Joshua Zeminski and his wife and Jojo Rosenbaum. Jojo Rosenbaum, according to Ryan Balch, had threatened to kill him earlier in the evening. And Joseph Rosenbaum sees Kyle right there by himself. Regardless, of whether you believe that Jojo Rosenbaum started the attack or Kyle, Kyle's not protecting property. The Castle Doctrine doesn't apply here. Kyle can defend himself even though he's not at the property where he is supposedly protecting earlier in the evening. So while the Castle Doctrine does apply in Wisconsin, it's not relevant to the case of Kyle Rittenhouse claiming that Kyle cannot claim self-defense because the property that he was defending wasn't his own is a dumb argument. Like my video and subscribe to my channel.